you said you've been building forever. What inspired you to get into trailers and tiny houses? Well, um, actually in uh, 08 when the market crashed, uh -huh. I was in real estate. I was okay. buying vintage homes and restoring them. Uh -huh. And uh, had our first son. We adopted both of our kids. Okay. And. Uh, yeah. So we adopted them, and after paying for the adoption, we literally had like two bucks left. Oh, right. <laughs> so we had no way to feed them, yes. and I had no job, and all my investments were gone. Everything oh, wow. was just just gone. You know? uh -huh. Uh -huh. After living pretty well for a long time. For sure. And uh, so I'd seen a little teardrop camper one time, and I thought, man, I bet I could build that better than anybody. And so I built one in my driveway out of some leftover parts from a pop-up trailer and stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, got it all done. It came out really nice. And, and I'd never actually been in one before, uh -huh. and so I sold that, and uh, that was when the earthquake hit Haiti. Oh yeah. So I sold that, and I do disaster relief, and I do some missionary work in mm -hmm. third world countries stuff. So I uh -huh. used that money, went to Haiti with a team, mm -hmm. and uh, we did some stuff there. And uh, I thought, wow, I was kind of onto something. Then I came back, and um, I got a contract for building. Uh, you ever heard of the Sarah Scotty campers? Remember from back in the 40s and 50s? Got the little Scotty dog silhouette on the front. Okay. Yeah, well, the owner of that company called me up, wanted me to design and build their um, first teardrop since 1958. Oh, wow. So I started building those for them. And of course, they're a big known company. And, right. and it just kind of took off. Somebody gave me a shop, you know, within, you know, just a block from my house. And uh -huh. so I was using that. And, that is cool. So, yeah, so it just okay. kind of snowballed. I just kept doing it and doing it. And, right. Uh, when the tiny house thing, my wife and I had already been living tiny for years before that. Uh huh. So when the, the whole concept, Jay Schaefer started getting known with his tiny houses. Yes. I thought, well, shoot, I restored vintage homes for years. I've been building micro campers for years. This uh -huh. perfect fit. Uh huh. And living that way for years. And sure. uh, so I built the first one. It is actually almost exactly like this one. Uh huh. Put it on the market and it sold that day. Like that day I had people coming from different directions to buy it. It's like, well, whoever gets here first. <laughs> so this is the same as the very first design that I built. A um, little bit bigger, believe it or not, than the first one. Uh, this is 72 square feet. Um, but as you can feel, we're actually out in the middle of the blazing sun in this field. And it's, right. it doesn't quite cooler cool. inside. Yeah, maybe so, 72, yeah. 73 degrees. So, yep. so um, this has what I call a hybrid Murphy bed. And I don't know why somebody hasn't done this before and still doesn't. As far as I know, I'm the only one doing this. But I thought if you got to fold the bed down and you have to move everything that's underneath it to fold it down, it kind of mm -hmm. is a waste of the space. Right. So I thought, well, I'll just put it up high enough that it clears the furniture. Ah, so yeah, this one goes down above the furniture. So you can leave the furniture right where it is. Um, and just little straight down like that. And then you have a little... You actually have a full-size bed here, and uh, the girl I built this for, she's got 13 acres over on the Swanee River, uh -huh. and uh, she bought this to live in while she was having her main house built. Okay. And ended up staying in this for like three years. <laughs> she oh, quit. Geez, she yeah. quit building the main house. Really. So the light in here is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Well, the skylights up there are nice. Mm -hmm. Two skylights, two side windows, and then the uh, window back here. Door. Yep. The whole door is uh, beautiful. This bathroom is only four the, feet by two feet. Okay. The endurance, that's the right word. The long lastingness of a wet bath, I've always been a little nervous about. Well, I mean, but it's ceramic one, tile, it's galvalume side, same uh, as on a commercial roof. Right. So, so the tile keeps going. This is cool. Yeah, I kind of developed my own little system for putting tile down in one of these. Mm -hmm. So that's good. This has uh, got a little slide out pantry. Oh, cool. And she's got a little fridge here. Again, this is 72 square feet. Yeah. So, I mean, to have all the stuff, you saw the toaster oven and the cooktop are in there. Uh -huh. But it normally sits up here. Um, it's just a good use of space. I mean, we can all sit in here and hang out. And Definitely. I've yeah. sat in here for hours with people just talking and chatting and, you know, again, right out in the summer sun and... Right. You know, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Like we went to a different type of skylight now. We use the double pane insulated uh -huh. um, high-end skylights now, which we could replace those. Is that the, like the, the ones that use the dissipating plastic that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, this is just like a commercial roof Lexan, so okay. it's, it's tough, but it lets a lot of heat in. So. Right. 
And then your AC right over the top. Beautiful. See, an uplower from AC isn't the thing, it's heat. <laughs> so, yeah. this is cool. Well, again, it's the same thing. This yeah. thing is so small and so efficient. This has closed cell spray foam. Uh -huh. So it gives it 180 mile an hour hurricane rating. It's fire retardant, mildew proof, watertight. Um, and the R value is the best yes. you get. I mean, it's just, right. I mean, other than the space station stuff. Yeah. Now, is it page proof? Page proof. <laughs> well, so. my three-year-old, we call him the tornado. Oh, yes. He's, he's well known at the ER. <laughs> And, yes. and destroy everything we've owned, but he's um, he does well on these. That's that is cool. That's really <laughs> we J test them for sure. So. Did you want to share with the world how much she's Actually, asking? Actually, she only wants sixteen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand. I mean, okay. this is. I mean, yes. it's, it's no, nothing. It's gorgeous. Absolutely. <laughs> I, gorgeous. I even told her, said, "Are you sure?" She goes, "Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's that's all I need." I'm, I'm kind of tempted. I'm like, "Oh, what a family of four. How could we get this it. to work?" Yeah, we yeah. pulled that down. We had the two beds underneath there for my boys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's really. Yeah, we actually camped in this once before I let her take it. Nice. Down in St. Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Fort DeSoto, yeah, right on the water. Oh, that's fun. So. In fact, yeah. we had a rainstorm when we were there that first night. Uh huh. It was frogs and stuff laying on the. <laughs> we were watching the rain. Right. It was nice. Really that nice. Is, Let's is. see, she uses a. There was a portable oven and cooktop on there, and then you got a refrigerator and sink. So you do have a full kitchen. Yep. You and have then a full, full bathroom, bathroom with a wet bath. Yep. So. And then your storage, I mean, that pantry is awesome. Yeah, you got a closet. Right here. Mm -hmm. You've got some shelving there. You've Definitely. got you know, a big shelf above the bed area. Definitely. So, um, oh, and there's a, there's a shed. A shed? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I did see it. Yeah. So, sure. yeah, use of space is incredible. I mean, multifunctional. And so. Well, I did one. Awesome. Um, uh -huh. If you're on my YouTube channel, you'll see it's called the Judy. It's the only one with a bright orange door. Okay. And they have the same kind of Murphy bed system, and down here, they have a, a door on here, and that flips up to a table, uh -huh. so you can sit at it, and it flips back down, and then the whole thing opens up, and they have their washer-dryer built in there. Wow. And on this side and this side, they have curtains, and they have closet. It goes back two feet, uh -huh. and so they have the closet space back in there. Nice. You got you to see that house. That's 112 mm -hmm. square feet, and it's two full-size adults and two uh -huh. big dogs, and they've been living in it off-grid, uh -huh. completely off-grid. Wow. Um, for a few years now. Nice. I guess this is a good time to pitch. Uh, what's your YouTube channel? Is it Treasure Trailers? <laughs> it's no, it's ridiculous. Huh. It's Andrew Bennett, Tiny House Master Builder. Ah, I did push. <laughs> um, yeah, the, you know, this is yeah, for sure. So, but yeah, this one definitely goes against the, you know, the, the mold. And this was only like the third house I built, so it was yeah. still figuring out some stuff. I know, huh? A jar. Yeah, that's cool. And this is all Cypress here. Beautiful. Yeah. LED trail lighting, of course. So this is our little shed. It's got our battery banks in there and some storage. Mm, good thinking. Oh, of course the camera's not going to adjust. <laughs> we'll get in there eventually. And another on-demand water heater, which we don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna buy an on-demand water heater, make sure you're, you're you're gonna spend at least 300 bucks to get a decent one, not with okay. these little $98 ones. Okay. And like out of seven of these, we had three that were really awesome. Uh huh. This being one of them. Okay. And uh, the others we just threw away. Did you? Yeah. You just can't get them dialed in right. There's not enough uh, gallons hot, per minute capacity. Or... It's, yeah. Gotcha. People are getting scalded or freezing.